Access to health care in rural areas can be a struggle. A new investment hopes to change that. Wake Forest University will use grant money to work with doctors to find solutions. WFMY News 2's Antonius McMiller met a health care worker who's seen the struggle firsthand. There are many factors that have led to declining health in people in rural communities, and one of them is a lack of physicians, and it's having a trickle-down effect. This is one of our typical exam rooms. We Frank Everhart has worked in the medical field for more than a decade. He's made it his mission to help uninsured patients get their health back on track. The appreciation that we see in them is, is humbling to be able to be a part of that. On a typical day, Everhart sees about 18 patients at Davidson Medical Ministries in Thomasville. We've got patients that come from Denton. I have some patients that come from as far away as Moxville. Um, a couple in Level Cross. Some patients will come in and they haven't had their meds in two or three months, um, or they may have been years without having seen someone. Everhart says Medicaid qualifications or two-hour bus commutes often prevent patients from seeking help. That's why they're introducing a mobile unit at the start of the year to meet people where they live. But finding doctors willing to work in small towns is a struggle across America. Studies show the United States is on track to be short 124,000 physicians by 2034. That could hit rural communities like Davidson hard. We've had positions that have been open that it takes longer to fill because we are in a rural community. Eventually we'll find someone, but then they're traveling from one of the urban areas to the rural area to provide care, which we're thankful that they're here, um, but it, it makes it more difficult for that attraction. To turn this projected trend around, Wake Forest University School of Medicine will use grant money to study and understand why there's a lack of physicians and come up with incentives and policies that would attract more clinicians to rural communities. And a lot of that cost and burden, especially on, on the emergency rooms and the wait times in emergency rooms, um, it would help to alleviate a lot of that. So that, that would be exciting. Having someone local close in the community. Everhart is an example of a much needed physician rooted in the community. Being in a smaller town, again, it's like treating family. In Davidson County, I, Denise McMiller, WFMY News 2.